execution, we'd like to next ask Tracy Meadows to the same. I used to own a bar on Grand River, but fortunately we were shut down. So with that, what do you do now? I actually live with my stepsister, Chase Covington. It's been great. We've grown a lot closer. Okay, I want to talk a little more about your uh, stepsister. Do you know what she does for a living? Yeah, she's the Midlands Gambling Commission Chair, uh, which isn't really surprising to me because it seems like she's always liked to gamble. I used to like, like gambling with her, but... I lose all the time, so I don't really like going. Um, does she ever talk about her job with you? Mm -hmm, sometimes. Recently we talked about a bid for a new casinos in Midlands. I don't know too much about it, but it got me excited because I thought that she could give me a real job instead of just being her personal maid. And she just said that if uh, they vote for a certain someone, that certain someone would owe her a favor and maybe I could get a job. I don't know too much about it, but she gets a lot of free stuff. Uh, speculation, Your Honor, too. She gets a lot of free stuff. I'm seriously, or merely trying to just lay a foundation for the next question. I don't see how she would know if she gets a lot of free stuff. You're, oh, can I confirm with the co Your Honor, it's a rationally based perception. She lives with um, uh, Chase Covington, so she would know these things. All right. All right. So, would you like me to repeat the question? Uh, could you please? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, when you say gifts, what kind of or free stuff, as you said, what kind of free stuff do you get? Or mm -hmm. does she get? Excuse me. Objection to um, improper character evidence. Um, this line of questioning is going to show action conformity that because she gets free gifts, she would accept a bribe. Can I confirm for a puzzle set? Yep. If she did accept a bribe, then this would not conform for either for or with if she did. Um. I'm going to sustain that for now. Okay. Did, oh, did your uh, stepsister ever tell you about any of the other candidates? Um, she did mention one that I remember, Avery Bancroft. Um, I know there's a few others, you know, type businessmen with deep pockets just trying to look for their next big investment. Do you know where she works from? Chase coming? Yes. Um, yes, yeah, she goes into the office for meetings some days. She travels around to various casinos, makes sure they're off to code or whatever. And she does have a private home office that she works from. Uh, and were you ever in this private home office? <coughs> well, I'm not really supposed to go in there because it's, you know, private. But I was getting worried about Chase's behavior. She was coming home late a lot. And me just being kind of her nosy younger sister, I had to go in there, so I've only been in there one time. Gotcha. And uh, what did you see when you were in the office? Um, just some documents, financial documents and confidential documents. Um, it was a lot cleaner than her bedroom in high school, so there wasn't really a lot to see. I want to focus on those financial uh, documents that you found. Would you recognize them if you saw them today? I think so, yes. Your Honor, can I approach opposing counsel? You may. Uh, let the record reflect that I am showing um, the opposing counsel prosecution one. Thank you. Can I tender the You may. Thank you. Um, no objections, Your Honor. <coughs> All right. Is this a bank statement that you mentioned? Yep, it's from the Midland State Bacon Trust. 
Is this a fair and accurate copy? Uh, what's the BS? All right. Can you tell us a little about this, or like what you're seeing? Um, it's from Chase's account. It looks like her name is on the left-hand side, and just says Midlands Bank State Trust, and there's just a bunch of descriptions for her withdrawals and deposits. Specifically, on April 17th, can you explain the uh, deposit that she made? There was a deposit for, it looks like, $200,000. All right, there are no further questions. Thank you very much. Cross-examination.